So now we're going to set up our squeeze page, or our opt-in page. Um, as an example, here is an opt-in page that I um, used recently. So an opt-in page is usually fairly basic. There's not a lot of text on it. Um, you can have a header or not. It, you don't have to. Um, but usually, you know, you would have a big headline, maybe a subheadline. It really kind of depends. You would have, you know, a few bullet points, um, you know, giving some compelling reasons why uh, somebody needs to attend your event. And then, of course, you have the opt-in box. So we're going to set up a page modeling that one. So we're going to go to our page um, that we named virtual event. Click edit. Um, one of the first things that we do is select a template. Optimize Press has many different templates that you can use. So it's a squeeze page template. And you know you can kind of scroll through and see which ones you want to use, whether um, you know, just notice the difference between them. Some of them have, you know, headers, some don't, some have videos, some don't. The template that I used was this one right here, squeeze number five with a header. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one again. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is to set my header. So click Activate Header Options, um, Show Header, and then Show Logo. So for the headline, we're going to select Headline, Show Options, enter in some text. You can change the color, select the font, select the size, the weight, you know, that kind of thing. If you were to have a subheadline, have the show options. Okay, click update. Then I'm just going to refresh the page. just so you can see what, what that looks like. Then I'm going to enter in some uh, intro text. And then I probably want to have a few bullet points, so I'm going to use the Optimize Press short codes. And then I'm going to use probably the red check marks. Scroll to the bottom and select Add to Page. Maybe I'll bolt those, and then maybe I'll have um, some more text here. Um, if you want to add an image, you would select Add Media, and then you can upload files from your computer. And then I'm going to click Update. The next thing we're going to do is customize the opt-in box area. So I'm going to go down to the opt-in box. For the customization, the opt-in box arrows, select that. And I have selected the red ones. You can select what you'd like. The opt-in box headline options. I'm putting in yes, sign me up for the virtual event. You can you know, put whatever text you'd like. Uh, change the font color and the font. The opt-in box text options, I put in please enter your name and best email address below. So you want to give them specific directions on what action you want them to take. And the spam notification is always a good idea as well. So I put in I will, uh, oh, I will never sell or share your info, your information. Okay, so select update. I just want to make sure that everything that I've entered has worked. Now the next thing is to enter in the web form code so that when somebody enters in their name and their email address, they're added to the list. So we're going to go down to the opt-in settings again and the autoresponder code. Now we're going to go back to, you know, if you left your, your email marketing service open in the other window or if you copied and pasted it into a notepad you want to grab that code again and 
you're going to paste it into this first box here. And then I just click outside of the box when I'm done. So Optimize Press automatically generates the rest of the information um, that it needs in these fields. So the name, the box text, what do you want this box to say? Enter your name and then the email or you could just put you know name email address and then the last thing that you want to do is select your button so it's this button right here so you can select one of the um, default or custom ones that optimize press comes with so what am I going to do I'm going to use red and I'm going to use register me now or you could use sign up now and then use the select image then we're going to go up and we're going to click update and there you go so the next thing you'll want to do is just test your um, registration process and make sure that everything is working